Hello, this is D and I'm back with another video. Recently, a Gears 5 developer once again confirmed that the Xbox Scarlet will have ray tracing cores. We've known this for quite some time as Microsoft announced this at E3 during their Scarlet reveal. Now, the question that most gamers have is will the PlayStation 5 also have hardware ray tracing? Sony has confirmed that ray tracing will be on the PlayStation 5, but we're not sure if it's going to be a hardware or software based solution. Some think it might be just software alone. Now, AMD's newly leaked roadmap gives us a clearer picture. These slides come from a financial briefing, and like usual, I will leave a link in the description down below so you guys can check it out for yourself. According to this leak, Zen 3 is finalized, and they're now working on Zen 4. AMD's roadmap basically states that Zen 4 will come in 2021, as that's when the roadmap ends. Now, the interesting part of this leak is the Navi RDNA 2 cards. Now, we know that RDNA 2 will have hardware ray tracing and reportedly will take on Nvidia's top cards. AMD's roadmap leads to a 2020 launch of RDNA 2 based cards. Now, I would say it's safe to assume, with hardware ray tracing confirmed from the Scarlet, that it's an RDNA 2 based GPU. And I just don't see how the PlayStation 5 won't be an RDNA 2 based GPU as well. In my opinion, Sony is just waiting for their big PlayStation 5 launch event to announce that it will indeed have hardware ray tracing. Now, rumors are stating that AMD's ray tracing solution is yielding great results. AMD does not want a heavy penalty for using ray tracing. Now, Nvidia, although first out the gate with ray tracing, does have a heavy penalty when you're running it. Now, we could see some really groundbreaking graphics on these next generation consoles. Now, I do think we could have a case where one system is more capable of ray tracing than the other by either having a better CPU or more ray tracing cores. But I'm quite certain that both consoles will have hardware ray tracing cores. It just doesn't make sense for me that the PlayStation 5 would be based on the first generation of RDNA, which lacks ray tracing cores. Anyways, I want to know what you guys think. Are you excited that AMD will challenge Nvidia on the high end in 2020? Do you think that the PlayStation 5 will have hardware ray tracing? And also, do you think that the Scarlet will be more powerful than the PlayStation 5? Please leave your comments in the section down below. And like I usually say, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys on the next one.